Already this journey is not easy. Let us return to part three of A Link to the Past. Now we're in the Desert Palace. Already you can tell this is gonna get dicey. No, I'm serious. This is just gonna get really dicey. And the map's not gonna tell me any favors either. And we gotta watch out because we have a new enemy. The Beemos. I think we're gonna need our bow and arrow for this because holy moly we're in for a fight. Nice. Ow. Link, it is I, Sahasrala. You must never fail to find all the treasures in each dungeon. That's at least something. Should be a locked door. Nice, not bad. Now let's open the key. Ow! Come on! Nice, we get the compass. Snaps us to the key. I'm not worried, trust me. Trying to survive would be an understatement. Now we gotta head up, then left twice, and then this time head up. Nice, that's better. All right, let's see what this gives us. This is the power glove. It's so bad. You can feel strength in both hands. You can pick up and carry stones now. That's at least a relief. Now let's get out of here. I'm always quick as a whip. Oh, 
Very good. Nice. That made it easier. Ah. Oh yeah, there is something we need to get. Nice. Our hearts are now at seven. Yeah, there are only 24 heart pieces in this one. I was supposed to find another entrance to the other side of the dungeon. There it is. That works. Ugh. Gotta watch out for these things. This game is no laughing matter. Ah! Let's go ahead, let's head upstairs. Help us, and then what? Okay, boss time now. Oh, yeah, let's switch to the bow and arrows. Not bad. That's already a sign telling me I gotta prep, prep, prep up for something. Okay, let's go. Boss time. things are what I gotta deal with? You gotta watch out because every time it comes out, it shoots in four directions. Other two. Oh. 
That's two. All that remains is one left. And that's three. That is that. That raises our health to eight. We won the Pendant of Power. Our goal of finding three pendants is in sight. Go for the last one. Yes, sir! Now all we gotta do now is head to the south base. Oh, that ain't it. We need to actually head to Link's house. Luckily for us, there's actually a faster way of doing this. Yeah. You save and quit. Start from Link's house. There you go. What, you never knew that? It has the Kakariko theme, so... Yeah, that works. Out of my way. Yeah, let's speed it up. That works too. Now let's move. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's get a red powder. This helps us regain our life energy. Good, at least that takes care of that. Now this takes us now to Zora's waterfall. I'm guessing that the Zoras are not a very friendly type now in the Fallen Hero, Fallen Hero timeline. Yeah, because by that point after the war, my guess is that the Zoras just didn't want to deal with it anymore. That's probably yes. And yeah, this is before Ocarina of Time, where the Zoras were very different. Rather, they looked better. But this is all my opinion. Yeah, here comes the slowdown. Are you kidding? Look, what am I doing to you? Seriously. That's better. Made it. What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? 
I want the flippers. <laughs> but I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? <laughs> One pair of flippers coming up. I will give you a free bonus with your purchase. I will let you use the magic waterways of a sea pool which link lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where your surface. <laughs> We obtained the Zora's flippers. With these, you should be able to swim even in deep water. Yeah, but the Zoras are not anywhere but merciful. Seriously, at least getting that was enough. Seriously, since when did the Zoras decide to become hostile? Nice, we obtained the ninth heart piece, 9 out of 24. Gotta keep going. Jeez, Soros, what the heck? <laughs> Seriously, what have I as a person ever did to you? Finally. Post to head here. All right, now it's time we throw an item in. Remember, we need to be on. Oh, wait. Yes. Let's throw this first. And we need to be truthful. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. This gives us the magic boomerang. You can throw this faster and farther than your old one. Now let's throw the shield. And yes, like before, we be honest. Here's what they give you in return. This is a fire shield. Now you can defend yourself against fireballs. A bigger shield means a bigger chance. Now let's see where this leads us. Yep, this one involves throwing rupees. Big trouble? What will that do? Yeah, but you will have to return back here.
Already by 60. Nice, good luck. Throw 20 more. Big... Oh, come on. Well, what do you know? I want to carry more bombs. Yeah, you can keep on doing this till you max out your bomb count at 50 and your arrow count to 70. That means you're gonna need a lot of things. Seriously. Check our map. We gotta make sure we be at our best if we're gonna survive. Nice effort, but it will not work. Yo, Link, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. Battle three. Thank you. That is most helpful. Lake Highway used to be home to the, Zo to the Zoras, but then everything kind of went downhill for them. Yeah, we need to get fairies. Right here. I'm gonna put that butt catching that's a good use. Why does I like using that thing? No thanks. I'd rather be stuck with fairies. Gotta move fast. The Hyrulean Cemetery. That's worth it. Oh, 
on. Are you kidding? There. For ser for seriously. All time to secure some goods. More bombs. Pocket change. We're about to head ourselves to our next stop. Death Mountain. Seriously, this music never, ever gets old. At least Link is. At least Zelda's safe. You should follow the marks the Elder made on your map when you explore. If you don't know what to do next, you can visit a fortune teller. And now we're about to rock and roll. Wasn't it? Or is it further up? Yeah, it has to be. There it is. Okay, so now what am I supposed to do? Hold on a sec. Anyway, we're back. Let us continue this little romp. Okay, so... No, that's not it. This is gonna get a little rough on the eggs. I don't know who you are, but if you're gonna go up that mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... That means we... Uh, watch your step. They're always in the ground. Could you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Seriously? That's not gonna stop me. At all. Uh, there must be a heart in that bottle. Thanks for that. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he's trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. Okay, so why are you telling me all this? Yeah, we've now reached Death Mountain. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for the day. Ugh. These are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, 
I wanted to give you this. If you want to a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. We gave the magic mirror? Okay, that's something important to have. And yeah, Death Mountain is different. Which, if you can basically tell, the Gorons no longer exist in that time. I have to wonder if by that point after the war, the Gorons pretty much fade out of existence. Pretty much went extinct. Because you hardly see them in A Link to the Past. I also know that this game came out in 1992, so my guess it came before Ocarina of Time when they introduced it. I'm just nitpicking too much, but still, I want, I've asked way too many questions. Oh, this ain't gonna make this any better. I'm actually at the right path. Alright, let's check this one. Oh, now I can actually see. Oh, let's see. Why, why does this feel like a bit familiar? Oh, that's nice. Thank you. That was a bad idea. Ah, oh, come on. Nice. Now we use this, take the stairs, and get another heart piece. This makes ten. Link, it is I, Sahasrala. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. Doing pretty decently. That's at least a good thing. Trust me, if I like 100% by getting as much of whatever I could, we may be able to get this done in record time. Yeah, but the only reason I do this so much in advance. Oh, wait, another one? Okay, so what's this about? What is all this? So this must be the other side of the world. The dark world. What do you want? You have something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak and I can't go back to the real world. If only I, if I only had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I can go back to my original shape. I've got good reason to be stressed out, so back off! Shoo! Shoo! Yeah, 
This is the dark world. The dark where the golden land was turned into this. And we get this. That makes Heart Piece 11. And there's the Tower of Hera above us. Before that, however, let's use this. Hold up the Master Sword, and you will get the magic of Aether. We're gonna need the Blade of Evil's Bane. That doesn't happen until the next part. Let's check on the other side. Yep, we need the hammer. We will have to come back here much later. But regardless, this is where we'll end it here. Next time, in part four, we will head into the Tower of Hera and seek out the third pendant. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, it means a lot. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. I'll see you next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.